When your dog sees an open door, does it give them a cue to scatter like crazy to make a mad dash for the great outdoors? Maybe it's not that dramatic, but getting your dog to wait patiently at the door can sometimes feel like hurting chickens. You move them here, dodge them there, and somehow you shut the door as they just manage to almost squeak by. Waiting at the door is not just good behavior, it's important for your dog's safety. In this video, we'll go over how to teach your dog to wait patiently when you exit the door automatically. This means that you reach for the doorknob and your dog will know exactly what to do. Sounds good? Let's get started. Step 1. The Approach To begin, make sure your dog is on leash and you have treats nearby. Approach your door, reach for the handle, and wait. Look at your dog and give them time to think about what we'd like to see here. Ideally, they will figure out that they should sit. However, if your dog doesn't know how to sit very well, then this idea won't just come to mind. In the beginning, it's perfectly okay to ask them to sit. Once your dog does sit, click or say yes and give them a treat. Repeat approaching the door a handful of times so that they get the idea. Step 2. Patience. Getting your dog to wait while you open the door is the goal, but opening the door all the way may be too tempting for most dogs. Begin by approaching the door and waiting for your dog to sit. Next, slowly turn the doorknob and open the door just one inch. If they remain in position, click or say yes and give your dog a treat. If they pop up, that's totally fine. They don't get a treat though. Just ask them to sit and try again. It's important to remember that you want to shut the door and reward your dog inside for now. We're not letting them out just yet. The key here is baby steps. We want the dog to wait, sure, but we want them to learn and feel successful along the way. The goal is having your dog wait while you open the door all the way, but you'll need to break that large goal down into small, easily achieved steps. We'll show you an example. So for now, it might feel like you're starting with your dog where they want to bolt out the door, but our end goal is that they sit and wait patiently. So we want to break down the overall behavior into small baby steps. So the first step might look like you opening the door just one inch and rewarding your dog inside. Continuing on with the baby steps, the next repetition, you try two inches, then three, then four, and then five inches. So each one of these baby steps is another repetition. It might be you practicing at one inch four times and two inches five times and three inches, four inches, five inches, and so on. But what happens over time is your dog starts to make a clear understanding of what our goal is. They understand what we're expecting from them. When that happens, our baby steps start to allow us to gain a lot of momentum. And once we have that, we can make bigger steps. They're still small steps though. So let's say at five inches, your dog has made that understanding. Your next step could be a bigger one. They could go up to seven inches and now you've really got that momentum going. You can go up to nine inches. And then you can make the big jump to a whole foot. They really have an understanding now that they need to stay put despite that door opening and they're continuing to be reinforced inside the home. You haven't even let them outside yet. So again, baby steps, we're gaining momentum. We go from one foot to one and a half feet all the way up to three feet. And at that point, we've reached the finish line and your dog now knows that they can sit and stay inside even though the door is opening in front of them. Now we'll show you the behavior in real time. So again, we always approach the door and get the dog to sit first. Once seated, you reach towards the doorknob and open it just a little bit at a time, closing the door and rewarding your dog inside between repetitions. Each time you practice, you can open the door a little bit more, building on your dog's prior success. Step three. The release. Now that your dog has learned to wait patiently, they have earned the permission to exit the doorway. As always, you'll approach the door, get your dog to sit, reach towards the doorknob, and slowly open the door until you've reached your goal, and then you tell your dog, okay. Now, it doesn't matter here if you go through the door before your dog or if they go through first. 
On icy weather days, we go out first just to ensure safe footing, but otherwise, we let Monzo and Piper take the lead, because, after all, the walk is for them, too. A few key things to remember. It doesn't matter who exits the door first. Remember to work slowly, building in baby steps so that your dog remains engaged and motivated to work. And it's important to practice at any door that your dog might exit from. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up below. If you feel you or your dog learned something, hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for more dog training tips, be sure to check out our blog at redpointydog.com.